Few commanders can have had such loyal service as you have given me. In the early war, the British Empire stood alone against the combined might of the Axis powers. And during those days, we suffered some great disasters. But we stood firm on the defensive, but striking blows where we could. Later, we were joined by Russia and America. And from then onwards, the end was in no doubt. Let us never forget what we owe to our Russian and American allies. This great allied team has achieved much in war, may it achieve even more in peace. Without doubt, great problems lie ahead. The world will not recover quickly from the great upheaval that has taken place. There is much work for each one of us. I would say that we must face up to that work with the same fortitude that we faced up to the worst days of this war. It may be that some difficult times lie ahead for our country and for each one of us personally. If it happens thus, then our discipline will pull us through. But we must remember that the best discipline implies the subordination of self for the benefit of the community. And we who remain have seen this thing through to the end. We all have a feeling of great joy and thankfulness that we have been preserved to see this day. What I have to say is very simple and quite short. Now, we've assembled here today to accept the surrender terms uh, which have been made with a delegation from the German army. I will now read out the terms of that instrument of surrender. The German command agrees to the surrender of all, all German armed forces in Holland, in northwest Germany, including the Frisian Islands and Heligoland and all other islands, in Schleswig Holstein, and in Denmark, to the Commander in Chief, 21st Army Group. This to include all naval ships in these areas. These forces to lay down their arms and to surrender unconditionally. All hostilities on land, on sea, or in the air, by German forces in the above areas, to cease at 0800 hours British double summer time on Saturday the 5th of May 1945. The German command to carry out at once, and without argument or comment, all further orders that will be issued by the Allied powers on any subject. Disobedience of orders or failure to comply with them will be regarded as a breach of these surrender terms and will be dealt with by the Allied powers in accordance with the accepted laws and usages of war. This instrument render is dependent of